Hi, I'm Peter Pereira, Senior Product Manager at AWS. Do you need to isolate Active Directory workloads in different accounts, but also need them to use the same AD infrastructure? While you can manually join EC2 instances between accounts and VPCs today, AWS services that integrate with AWS Managed Microsoft AD use an AWS Directory discovery mechanism to automate tasks such as seamless domain join. I will show you how you can share your directory from an owner account with different consumer accounts within a single AWS region. For this demo, we will establish network connectivity between the VPCs, share the directory, join an EC2 instance from a consumer account to the owner account, then sign in to the EC2 instance. There are two common ways to connect VPCs, including VPC peering and a virtual private network link. For VPC peering, perform the following steps. Create a VPC peering connection between the directory owner and the consumer VPCs. Enable traffic routing between the peered VPCs. Configure the directory consumer VPC route table. Configure the directory consumer VPC security group to enable outbound traffic. Check out this blog post for more details. With networking in place, I will share my directory to the directory consumer account so AWS solutions can discover it. Open the AWS Management Console. Select Directory Service, and then select the directory I want to share, in my case, example.com. Select the Actions button, and then the Share Directory option. My directory is in an account in Organizations, so I will share my directory with AWS Organizations method. With Organizations, the consumer account has no work to do. I select Share this directory with accounts inside the organization, then choose the Allow Access to AWS Organizations button. This lists all AWS accounts in your organization. Select your desired directory consumer account from the Organization Accounts browser. In my example, Consumer Example. Then select the Add button. I can now see the directory consumer account in the selected accounts table. Select the Share button. AWS Managed Microsoft AD creates a shared directory in the directory consumer account. The shared directory contains metadata used by AWS services to locate the directory in the directory owner VPC. Each shared directory has a unique identifier the Shared Directory ID. In the Scale and Share tab, I can now see the account to which I share my directory with, including the Shared Directory ID and the sharing status. Now, I will launch an Amazon EC2 instance in the Directory Consumer account. Please see the AWS Directory Service documentation for prerequisites. From the AWS Management Console, go to EC2 Console. Under Instances, choose Launch an Instance. Select any Windows Server Amazon Machine image. I will select a Windows Server 2016 base. Next, you choose the instance type. I will use the default T2 Micro. Select Next Configure Instance Details. In the Domain Join Directory field, I can now see and select the shared directory from the Directory Consumer account. Select EC2 Domain Join Role in the IAM Role field. Choose Review and Launch. In the next step, select Launch. This process will take a few minutes. Now, let's log on to my instance. In the EC2 console, I select the EC2 instance I just launched. Select the Connect tab. Select Download Remote Desktop File. Launch the RDP file. To log into the machine, click More Choices, use a different account. For username, I specify my directory NetBIOS name example, a backslash, and credentials for my admin user. Congratulations! You can now share your AWS Managed Microsoft AD with other accounts. This enables you to use integrated AWS features such as EC2 Windows Seamless Domain Join from other accounts. Thanks for joining us to learn how to share a single AWS Managed Microsoft AD directory with multiple accounts and VPCs. For more information, please visit our website.